uh, Johnny now, who, as you know, is a nominee for uh, Claudia Claudinelle, which is a foreign language film, and also um, she's nominated for Best Actress. Hi. I don't know. What am, am I supposed to say something? <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> you can nominate, of course, to accept Yeah, the that's right. It's very different, yes. Um, I was not aware of how wonderful it was at the time, at this time. Pretty conscious of, uh, you know, the unique thing. So it's quite wonderful because I can enjoy it every minute. How much do you want to win the Oscar? How much? Uh, I'll tell you when I lose. Does it mean a lot for your career? Does it mean a lot for you as a, an actress? What, what does it mean? I think it means a lot for a foreign actress to be nominated, particularly in a film uh, with <laughs> subtitles. I think that's very important for us to, uh, you know, happen to be part of your community sometimes. So it's a wonderful surprise, I think, for all foreign actors and uh, directors too. Uh, I think, let's say, it could help people to want to see French movies if they know that, you know, a French actress is nominated as uh, other uh, American actresses. I think, yeah, people might want to see a French film, thinking, well, maybe it's a good performance. Will you be dressed by a French designer for Oscar Night? Yes, I'm not going to be unfaithful. Yeah, Christian Dior. Dior is going to. So, do you feel that advertising helps your film to get noticed in this country? The, I'm sorry? Does that help your film get noticed by the Academy? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's part of the, uh, the rules, part of the game, and, uh, and it's nice to see, uh, you know, all these ads in the trade papers. It's just like, uh, it's got, there's nothing like that in, in France or in Europe, uh, except maybe for the uh, Cannes Film Festival. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, when a, an actress gets into producing, that's when she doesn't, um, she doesn't get the right uh, offers. So uh, I guess if, if, I, if I don't uh, find a nice script or something that I'd like to do, I would probably do that again, yeah. Have there been a lot of directors and producers in Hollywood in, in, in the Americas that you What's the beginning of your question? I'm sorry. I've been receiving a lot of bad scripts, yes. <laughs> I think it's part of the reflex, you see. When you get a nominee, you just send scripts to the nominee. So. Which Oscars do you want most? I'm sorry. Which Oscars do you want most? Oh, I guess it'd be, you mean between best foreign film and best actress? Well, <laughs> guess. <laughs> Well, I'd be very happy if uh, the film gets uh, best um, foreign uh, film, of course. <laughs> and uh, that's it. <laughs> I won't say more. What do you think your chances are to win Best Actress? I truly have no idea. I, I think it's just wonderful that I got nominated. It's just like, you know, everybody was telling me, well, don't even think about it. You know, things have changed for the years, and it's become more difficult for a French actress to, uh, you know, be noticed. And I think it's just wonderful to see how generous the Academy can be. Why are you wearing sunglasses today? Because my eyes are irritated. <laughs> That's right. Have Heavy smoke today. Two more questions. Two more questions. Have you seen uh, any of the other uh, four actresses nominated for performance? Yes, I have. Well, uh, I actually, uh, I, I like them. I like them all. Isabel, uh, the character you portrayed, Camille Claudel, a sculptress who was eclipsed by the love of Odette, could you talk about, just briefly about the character and about how your portrayal touched the uh, artist? I wouldn't like to bore you with that. It's, uh, um, you know, it's a story about an artist, and uh, that's a story I really wanted very badly to do because uh, she's been ignored for, uh, I mean, years and years, decades. And, uh, and to me, it's about passion, love, and creation. And uh, I'm happy that 
people liked it here, really. Is there a shortage of good scripts or original ideas out here that, that make it so that we do more sequels or more follow ups? What are your thoughts on that? I'm sorry? Could you repeat? You talked about you're getting a lot of bad scripts. Yes. Is there a shortage of good scripts? And does that in turn lead to doing sequels of movies like, uh, like Rambo 28 or whatever we're at now? I'm sorry, I still don't understand. Could you repeat? Start with, is there a shortage of good scripts? Yes. Original ideas in Hollywood? I, I guess that's the first word that I don't understand. <laughs> she, she's in French. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.